Preservation is a major limiting factor for the outcomes of our procedures. In our country today and around the world, we have to discard a lot of human organs. At this moment, we use a system that is 40 years old, what we call cold static preservation, where the organs are basically flush with the solution on and does not carry oxygen. And then we drop the temperatures to 4 degrees Celsius and put them on an ice bucket. And most of our industry now is driven by time because cold storage is a race against time. So we're always looking for a method that we could improve the function of the organs outside of the body. So when we put the organs back in, we have a way to enhance the function of the organs. We actually developed the system right now within our own UPMC group. Then we think that we might be able to oxygenate and enhance the function of the organs outside of the body before we transfer them back into the patients. This work that we are presenting on this paper is for the first time a combination of a device that perfuses at 21 degrees Celsius, we call subnormal tem temperatures, with a solution that we call a cell free hemoglobin oxygen carrier. That when we combine the two of them, you provide very good oxygenation to the organs for a long period of time and allows them to have a very good function. This device is built with two different pumps, so each of these pumps will be perfusing fluid through either the portal vein or either through the hepatic artery and through the liver that will go inside here. And we can control the flow, the temperature and the uh, pressure here. So the organ sitting here is basically a live organ with all the features that you will see inside of the uh, body, but being outside of the body. The animals in this experiment, they did great. When we used this new system that we developed here, it was night and day. You can see the animals wake immediately after the operation. The livers function well right away. And some of the animals will jump out of the cage if you're not careful with because they feel great. The time that you perfuse the organs before you put back into the patients is a key step within this process. So what machine perfusion does, which is amazing, it allows you to do a test drive. So you not only enhance the function of the organs, but you can track this throughout time. And you can check the function of the organ before you actually put it back in, so you know that the organ will function well. So there are two ways that we can help our patients. If we do more transplants, we can decrease the mortality on the waiting list, which is pretty high, and it's pretty significant for us, because those are the people that could be safe, and they will be dying waiting for an organ. And then for the patients that get a transplant, if the organs don't work well, they might stay in the hospital for a long period of time. Very costly, very difficult for the families and for the patients. So we think that with this system, we could minimize the death rate on the waiting list and we could improve our outcomes on the long range. So this is a procedure that can be done in a more effective way.